My face oh, I'm bloated. I ate a whole lot of um, barbecue chips last night. I have just been a total puddle trying to get work done, like grateful for everybody's orders on my shop. I launched last week, kind of rhythmically processing my orders has been making me feel like I'm a human doing things. I have plans with friends today. I'm only gonna be home for another two weeks. Waiting for my cousin Jason to finish dinner. In the meantime, I'm gonna journal. Oh, just wrote down the date. It's Valentine's Day. Well, happy Valentine's Day. That's my Valentine. They like his magic carpet. Let's go downstairs. Whee! Yeah, heard there are like some bad things going on for you. Yeah. So I just want to call you and talk with you. Something, only two. I learned three years and I stopped for 10 years. So, uh. so she can tell me which one stands for which letter. filming a quick chit chat video doing an anagram test i was in a really nice mood after calling jason for so long and um yeah just kind of thought like spur of the moment thing why not don't overthink it i have plans to play overcooked 2 now with chris and luke my friends my best friends from fifth grade <laughs> He doesn't want to cut feathers, so she's hanging on right here. Did you try to eat it? Yeah, Evie is so upset. All right. See the joysticks? Oh. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. That's dough. Pizza dough. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. All right. Now we need a lettuce cut. No. We need another lettuce cut. <laughs> Amanda Rachel Washi Tate. When my head is full of questions and the sky is full of rain, when I'm worrying about what I can't change, I take a look at my reflection and try to make a funny face. And for a second, all my sorrows melt away. Cause if we just smile, we can forget all of our troubles for a while. We 
can just live inside this moment. You and I get through the darkness, knowing we'll find the light if we just smile. Filming me? Uh, hmm? Hmm. Okay. We're gonna make chocolate chip cookies. I found the recipe from Tasty. Don't look at me, look at her. She has the food. Ah! So this one uses coconut oil instead of vegan butter. Last time Luke and I made cookies with vegan butter, but our huge mistake was not chilling the batter and it came out the flattest cookies you'll ever see. <laughs> Watch out, it's too lumpy. It's too lumpy. It should not look like this. This looks very scary. All right, let's try it. I didn't realize it would do that. Didn't you hear me going on about whisks? And then you said it wouldn't. Let's chill. <laughs> I see you. You throw it across the room. Big mistake, don't add more oil. I should have just added more soy milk instead of the coconut oil. I've been working like a mad woman so I can get all my work done and make it out to see Amanda tomorrow. Tufting was all good. I got a lot of help from Luke, thank goodness, because it's a really arm and ten thing to do and especially I haven't been working out at all for a while now. I feel extremely fatigued. I have been on a um, documentary kick so I'm probably gonna turn on something like that. Or actually, never mind. The um, What's it called? The all to all the boys I have ever loved. That third movie came out, so I'm gonna watch a chick flick. <laughs> then I'll maybe watch documentaries if I still want something on in the background. multiple reasons. Toby came home, but I honestly, ever since I got the call yesterday that somebody saw him, I just had this certainty or like hope inside and I wasn't as worried. Also, we just picked up the cake and it's a giant cat head. I'm very happy about this. I have a cardboard box in a trunk. He is betting me that the that the cake doesn't fit in the box because it was too big from the like the bakery to put into a regular box is too tall. But I think it can fit, so let's see. We shall see. Okay. Oh Hi. no. Wait, wait. 
Okay, okay. I need to get something on okay. before. So it's gonna be a lot. Wait, wait, don't look. I'm not looking. Okay. All right. All right. Can I look? I'm gonna raise it up for you. Okay. okay. Happy birthday! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> okay, Hold it. How quick are the, the first ones going? Mm -hmm. Ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Hey! Smelly. Yeah, it's really smelly. Smelly poop I don't know girl. If you guys want cake in a second. <laughs> you just got it's such like, a smelly poop. This is like privacy. This is so cute. Yeah, it's just like. Prepare it to like. Yours is gonna be like half frosty. <laughs> and there's one for Anthony. What? Oh Oh, this is so cute. This is really cute. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we must hike like this. Now everywhere. we're together forever. Yeah. Ending the night, we're playing fishbowl, and on the final round, teams have to do charade style acting from this bowl of words that everybody contributed. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Did you say? It's <laughs> um, bean, <laughs> pillow, strangle, bean, <laughs> bird, <laughs> monkey, crocodile, noodle. <laughs> Okay, it's time. I don't know. Don't say what it was. Don't, don't say don't what it was. Go. California. <laughs> oh. um. Pikachu. Smelly poop. Dance. Smelly poop. Poopy diaper. What the hell is that? A door? Nintendo Switch? The end? Uh, oh, beans. Bean. Mustard. Pickles. <laughs> toe beans. Garbage. Noodle. Pink. Toe. Tiva. Sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <Mar> meth. <laughs> toe beans. Pickles. Mustard. Oh, what's that? Go. A dart. A, a mark is Michael Jordan. Annabelle. <laughs> um, oh, uh, goodness, Tesla. Oh, poopy diaper, uh, smelly poop, smelly diaper. Uh, mustard, uh, hot dog, uh, Taco Bell. That was genius. Shrek. Uh, a noodle. Three, two, one, go. Uh, Nintendo Switch, Cookie Mama, a noodle, uh, cat, birthday cake. Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cocaine. Three drugs here. <laughs> um, uh, Swiffer. <laughs> Bean? Alligator, crocodile. <laughs> Smelly poop. Uh, poop, shit. Uh, pooping. Uh, um, what is that? <laughs> Noodle? Smelly poop? <laughs> Baby? <laughs> Smelly diaper, poopy diaper. <laughs> Marijuana? Stop. Ugh. You were yelling poopy diaper all the other rounds. <laughs>
Like, what do I do? I can't do both at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get. Four billion wins are consumed by this report. That's my house number plus five. Yeah. It's so weird. She was kind of a bitch sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that was right in my butt cheek. We realized there's a lot more snow up higher here than we expected. We got chains and we're installing them. We also stopped by Ace Hardware and we actually, it was a third stop. Finally, we found their last two plastic sleds so we could have fun. First on the inside and second on the outside. And then my hands are too gross, so I figured you got me. So yeah, I've been given the nice and toasty job of putting the car in place <laughs> for the snow chains while the guys are putting the chains on and Amanda is building. She's giving a life right now, creating a life. Come banging through the kitchen. Girl, you're my favorite distraction from the wars in every land. Okay, ready? Ready? Go! Come crash into my window pane. Come stop me in my cage. Oh, spare my freedom. Oh, oh, from slumber. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Come kicking out of the coming back up so I can go. Had a little picnic here in the car with this beautiful view here at sunset so it'll be dark soon and my pants are denim so my butt is soaked from my earlier fun sled downs runs and i'm just done so i'm gonna back up the car very carefully for that. Track a little bit. go away you got this? go away all right i'm watching i was fine and the biker man came so i had to stop Momentarily, okay, okay, and it okay. stopped my roll. That's good. He in the pantry with a few constraints. Set our mouths singing and set our feet to dance in the guilt of all good things. Set our mouths singing and set our feet to dance with the guilt of all good This is a face I thought I'd never see again. The sweet husband, very 
crazy. We were all so shocked because he has been the biggest scaredy cat, never wants to go outside. He's disappeared for like eight hours before and then just come out of like some corner or like the back of a drawer or something. I'm working on my pre-orders for my store and I suddenly get a call and I've been getting spam calls all week, all hoping that it was news about Toby. This time it was, there was pause and then there was a little boy's voice. Like, hello, I think we found your cat. And I was like, really? And then you can hear him hand off the phone to his dad. And I run down the street. They said that they saw him sitting in front of a driveway two blocks away. And that when they tried to approach him, Toby hopped the fence. Mm -hmm. And I like yelled for him in front of the house. Nobody was home. But wow, I'm suddenly filled with hope and relief to know that he's close and he's alive. Mm -hmm. Then I bumped into a really friendly man walking his dog. He noticed I was yelling out and asked, are you looking for someone? And he split off and helped me look in the trails with his dog. But he said like, did you know that in this neighborhood, there are three families with outdoor cats? They're kind of all friends and we've acquainted with them. So we all leave food out in our backyards for them. So Toby probably stumbled upon it and has been eating off of that for the last week. So that also explains why Toby was sighted in that area. And I was like, oh my goodness, like how am I gonna get him back? So mom and I went out and yelled for him for an hour. We, we wound up bumping into this other outdoor cat. We like met this guy um, on a field. <laughs> Toby did not come out. So then I just got really sad, just thinking like, okay, hopefully the random father that called me first, he actually saw Toby and not one of the outdoor cats because what if they happened to look like Toby? Right when we kind of got to Oregon, I got a text message that Toby came back home. When I was just filled with hope, knowing that he's alive and about, I put out bowls of food in all of like the exits of our house and even his favorite tennis ball, just like maybe he can catch the scent. And I don't really know if in reality that's what what led him back home but maybe it gave him a familiar confirmation that this was the backyard grandma was doing her gardening trimming some of the trees and saw him poke his head out so she just you know she's kind of scared to handle cats she's never really liked pets so she sprints inside screams for my mom like oh Xiao Huang's back oh, i see him he's in the yard so my mom comes out here and then he disappeared and he crawled under our pile of um cushions because it's really windy so the furniture gets all thrown out and he was just under there kind of like frozen and still and very happy that she picked him up so like she was saying how when we were yelling for him in the neighborhood chances are he heard us and he just didn't come out he just couldn't because he's just he's not a very action-based guy he's a very emotional emotional guy i love you I'm moving later this week, so this is it to this vlog. You'll see the whole move and all of that process in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Goodbye!